North Texas doctor charged in connection with a colleague's death appeared in federal court today. It was the first time. Yeah, Dr. Ray Ortiz, who you see here, is accused of tampering with IV bags at Baylor Scott and White Surgery Care Center in North Dallas. And as part of the investigation, prosecutors say nearly a dozen patients suffered serious heart complications. Andrea Lucia was in the courtroom today for that hearing. So, so was the man looking for answers in his wife's death. It was a short hearing. Dr. Ray Ortiz appeared in the same clothes. He was arrested in a black collared shirt, black shorts, flip flops. He was handcuffed and shackled, barely spoke and didn't enter a plea. But for one man in court today, it was important to be there. You know, the most, the most agonizing thing I've ever seen in my entire life. John Caspar watched his wife of 30 years suffer a heart attack at home in June. They'd both been sick, and Dr. Melanie Caspar was treating her dehydration with an IV bag she'd grabbed from the surgery center where she worked as an anesthesiologist. I grappled with the fact that she had had a heart attack because she was a very healthy woman, um, could sit on her bicycle trainer for hours and, and, uh, and not have any issues. It was two months later he learned her death wasn't natural. It, it's just been a, a, difficult, um, a difficult summer. <laughs> This, this new information just, you know, just stirs up all the emotions all over again. Caspar was in court for Dr. Ray Ortiz's first appearance. It was his first time seeing the man accused by the U.S. Attorney's Office of tampering with the IV bags at the surgery center where he and Dr. Caspar worked. A criminal complaint alleges he was upset after learning he was under investigation because a patient under his care had stopped breathing during a routine procedure. Whether it's revenge or if he's trying to cover up his, his own inabilities, um, it's, it's hard to even comprehend that, that somebody can, can, uh, can do things like this. Ortiz, who lives in a $1.3 million home in Murphy, requested a court-appointed public defender, claiming he's unable to afford an attorney. After reviewing his financial record, the judge granted the doctor's request. Ortiz did deny the allegations against him in a phone interview last week. He's set for another hearing this coming Monday to determine if he'll be allowed to be released pending trial. Caspar says he plans to be at that one, too. For now, though, Ortiz remains behind bars. In Dallas, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News.